I know this review is late, but I would be remiss if we didn't talk about Disney's latest live action remake of The Little Mermaid. Now, Disney has been on this train by dishing out remake after remake after remake for several, several years. And yes, I, I recognize that the live action remakes have been a very mixed bag because we have been burned by some of the live action remakes or, or let down at the very least. But I'm gonna tell you right now that this latest live action remake of The Little Mermaid is something that is special and stands above almost all of the live action remakes for me in a good way. Don't sleep on this movie. Don't let your preconceived notions or assumptions prohibit you from experiencing this on the big screen because I'm so happy to report that there is something unique about this movie and I feel like this film is justified in its existence because of what it brings to the table. Don't worry, there won't be any spoilers, but I'm gonna tell you why I think this movie is special. The biggest pro for this movie is the casting of Halle Bailey. Now, she is a, a gorgeous person in and of itself and has an amazing singing voice. I knew that well before seeing this movie, but my concerns were not in her look, they were not in her voice, they were in her acting ability to give um, Ariel that life and that vigor and that drive that she really, really does have in the cartoon. And Hallie nailed it. This is a star making performance. It's like with Jennifer Lawrence in Hunger Games. It's like this is what catapults you into Hollywood. And Halle Bailey handled this role like a pro. She handled it with so much um, care and so much love and respect for the role. And she embodied Ariel. The next stand out is Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. And she eats this role. Now, I was nervous because I love Melissa McCarthy as an actress, but I didn't want her to bring her Melissa McCarthy-isms to Ursula, because Ursula is arguably one of the best Disney villains ever created, and she needs to be um, needs to be juicy, dishy, diabolical, wicked. Um, I don't want Melissa McCarthy to act like bridesmaids or Ghostbusters in Little Mermaid, and she doesn't. She understood the assignment. I am so happy to report. She does interject a few funny moments when it's appropriate, when I thought it was fine. And actually all of her funny moments that where she does let a little bit of her Melissa side come out were hilarious. And again, they weren't overplayed and they didn't overstay their welcome. And so they felt like welcome surprises to add to her Ursula performance. But overall, she ate it. She was phenomenal. Chef's kiss. This movie also does the heavy lifting for Prince Eric and making him uh, an engaging character and just as interesting of a character as Ariel. He is not a two-dimensional prince. They give him so much more backstory. They give him nuance. And uh, jo uh, Jonah Howard King's performance um, was just enchanting. And I, I kind of found myself falling in love with Eric as well. And especially his romance. They really fed so much into the story that developed the romance of Ariel and Eric. And I think that's where you'll find the bulk of the newer elements in this movie is towards the middle as Ariel and Eric are developing within their romance and the added scenes, the added dialogue, the added ways that they may be more alike than they think. All the characters were great. There is no weak link in this cast and everyone does a great job within their role, but I'd be remiss if I didn't give a special shout out to Jessica Alexander, who plays Vanessa, who is, um, you know, the Ursula counterpart for a very small portion of the movie. But that is a perfect example of an actor who takes a small role and and chews every second of it and and steals the scene in every scene, even if it's just five minutes of the movie. Scene stealer iconic. Wow. The Little Mermaid um, took some creative liberties to interject story elements that made more sense, that filled in a lot of plot holes, quite frankly, from the cartoon that really worked well. They didn't feel shoehorned. They felt natural and it made the story move better um, and develop more organically. And I really appreciated these richer nuances that they added to this story. The visuals in this movie are stunning. And I would um, equate the underwater um, visuals to that of Aquaman. It's no Avatar way of water. Nothing's gonna match those visuals, but I'd say they are just as serviceable as Aquaman and it was stunning underwater. I love seeing the, the creatures underwater, the under the sea sequences, part of your world, hello. The music is still incredibly rich 
as it ever was. Halle Bailey has an angelic voice. Um, Poor Unfortunate Souls is a showstopper. And I'm happy to say that there are very little cons for me in my viewing experience. I'd argue they're more nitpicks. It's not a picture perfect movie. I'd say one of my my bigger cons is that I would have liked to have seen more more mer people, more of Atlantica, specifically more of Ariel's sisters. Now I get that they're not a main character, um, but just with how visually beautiful th these actresses and these character designs were, um, I was disappointed with how little we got to see of them. I do have a couple moments in this movie where maybe they didn't capture what was in the cartoon that was so amazing, um, or they may have omitted a couple of things. Again, the, nothing, nothing big. I, the pros are so great and greatly outnumber the cons to where they kind of almost make me forgive every you know nitpick or area that I wasn't thrilled with. The movie really worked in so many levels with so many things that they present as well as things that they add to where I felt like it didn't leave me feeling um, empty or, or disappointed by losing a couple things here or there that I did love in the cartoon. Overall, this movie is rich. It's nuanced. It's one of the better films ever made by Rob Marshall. He added layers to the story and he added more moments of magic to just enhance the story and make it really stand out and make me really appreciate it as well as the cartoon. So I can enjoy and love both of them and em embrace them for their little differences. This is definitely one of the best live action remakes. I'd argue that Cinderella might still be my favorite, but it's right neck and neck under it, maybe next to it, it might be tied, but this movie does justify its existence. I am so happy with the creative choices that they made. I cannot praise the performance of Halle Bailey enough. Don't sleep on this. And I'm so happy to have had that experience walking away from The Little Mermaid, and I really hope that many others will share in that experience with me. I'm going to give the 2023 Little Mermaid an A-. And that's my review, so please don't just watch the movie on TikTok clips because I know there's many. Go see it. Go see it on a big screen, see it for yourself, and I hope that you will get swept away with the magic as much as I did.